This week in Louisiana agriculture. 2012 was a record crop year for Louisiana sugarcane farmers. So what's in store for this season? I'm Kristen Oaks and I'll have the answer up next. Also changes to immigrant seasonal worker rules could put permanent Louisiana jobs in jeopardy. We'll bring you the latest from Washington. And a leading rice expert says the U.S. crop lags behind other countries when it comes to quality. What would it take to turn that around? Hi, I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us. Michael Dana has the week off. 1.7 million tons of raw sugar. That's what Louisiana sugarcane farmers produced in 2012. But this is a new year with new challenges for Louisiana's number one row crop. This week in Louisiana Agriculture's Kristen Oaks takes us to Lafayette for the annual meeting of the American Sugarcane League to find out the state of the sugar industry. The 2012 crop year was almost too easy for Louisiana sugarcane farmers. While Hurricane Isaac damaged about 10% of the state's crop, the warm, wet weather that followed provided the perfect conditions for growing sugarcane. During the American Sugarcane League's annual meeting in Lafayette, Jim Simon congratulated Louisiana farmers on delivering an exceptional crop. Boy, we had just an outstanding crop. Uh, in Louisiana, we produced 1,710,000 tons of raw sugar, and that's a record for us. It's better than, than what we did in 1999, which was 1,675,000 tons of raw sugar. But high production comes at a price. It's always hard to follow up on a record crop um, and uh, low prices right now are falling prices are one of the things that are concerning us right now. Uh, you know when you have a good crop that puts a lot of supply on the market and additional supply causes prices to fall. And Louisiana was not alone in its successful harvest. American Sugar Alliance economist Jack Roney says top international producers like Mexico, India and Brazil also had strong crops. In addition, worldwide consumers are simply not buying as much sugar. And Roney says lower consumption added to higher production creates the perfect storm to drive down prices. The price for sugar has dropped dramatically over the last two years. It's down about 50 percent. Uh, our growers had had a fantastic chance to pay down some of their debt and reinvest in the future when we had prices at 30-year highs over the last couple of years. But that's changed. Uh, the world market for sugar is now glutted, and the U.S. Uh, and Mexican markets uh, have too much sugar, so prices has fallen. Roney says he expects the prices could drop even lower before the start of planting season. We will see uh, less acreage of beets and cane in this country and abroad, and that the market could process that and say, well, it looks as though we're not going to have as much production next year and prices could improve. Seymour remains optimistic. He says the ups and downs are just part of the sugar business here in Louisiana. We've always managed to survive here in Louisiana. You know, we've been growing sugar cane for some 217 years. Uh, there are always challenges and, and we've persisted and figured out how to make it work for us. While the prices are a little softer, there's still room to, uh, to make money in Louisiana sugar industry. It's not the money, but the love of agriculture that keeps these farmers in business. In Lafayette, I'm Kristen Oaks for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Jim Seymour says in 2012, 95% of the state's farmers voluntarily contributed to the American Sugarcane League. That's the highest percentage in the organization's history.